hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great so in today's video i'm going to show you the products which i got from my cup and five day sale and which i received as a diwali gift so i'll be using all of those products in this video so let's get started with the video so first i'll start with the face so i'm using a pons moisturizer so this is a pons super light gel moisturizer i'll be using this on my face as a moisturizer Before starting with the base, I'll first go on with my eyebrows. So I'll fill my eyebrows now. So I'm using this Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. And later we'll set with this CoverGirl Easy Weezy Brow Gel. So always shape your brows first before filling in them. Yeah, as you can see, I've done with these brows. It's really very smooth. It's pigmented. It glides on really very smoothly. So I'm done with this brows. Quickly, I'll do my this brows and I'll come back. So that's how it is. I am using Smashbox Primer to prime my face and to cover all the open pores on the T-zone and cheek area. So once I'm done with applying the primer, I've already done applying my corrector as well. So now I'll be applying the foundation. So I'm using this Wet n Wild foundation and I'm dotting all over my face. And then now I'll blend this everything with the beauty blender so this is the elf beauty blender and omg look at this it's really very soft and spongy and i'm going to blend all these foundation with this beauty blender Well, I really like the coverage of this foundation. It is really very uh, buildable also. You can build it up uh, by applying uh, as if you feel it is very less, you can apply more and build it accordingly. But the coverage is really very good of this foundation. I really liked it. So now I'm going to apply this e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Medium and now I'm going to apply this on my under eye area and wherever I have pigmentation marks. So th this has a doe foot applicator to apply the concealer and the coverage of this concealer is just amazing. A little bit of concealer and you are sorted. So you just need a very little bit of concealer. So I'm applying this under my under eye area and uh, going to blend it really very fast as this concealer tends to dries out faster. So you have to be very quick while blending it out. So uh, you apply a little, little bit around the area and you need to blend it out immediately or else it, dr it immediately dries out and uh, then it will look patchy. So you need to immediately blend it out really very fast as soon as you apply it.
now i'm applying on my lid so and then i'm going to blend it out the coverage of this concealer is amazing it's really very good product i'm really impressed with this concealer i loved it so i definitely give a thumbs up for this concealer i would definitely recommend on a drugstore concealer if you're looking for So now I'm applying it on my pigmentation marker wherever I have acne scars, acne scars and I'm going to blend it with my fingers. Now I'll be setting all my base with this Maybelline loose powder so this is in the shade 25 medium so I'll be taking now this elf beauty blender and I'm going to uh, take a loose powder and I'm going to apply on my under eye area and all over my face to set all that base makeup intact in place so this loose powder is amazing like the coverage of this loose powder is bomb I really loved it so i would highly highly recommend you guys to buy this loose powder if you're looking for a drugstore one then this is the one let's start with the eyes first and then i'll go with the blush and contour later on so let's start with the eyes first the eyes i'm going to make it very simple so let's do a mo i'm going to do a monochromatic look with this so lipstick i'll be using is the touch of spice and accordingly i'll use the eyeshadow and i'll fill i mean i'll do my eyes with this i'll do a bit smudgy smoky effect with the brown kajal let's see how it turns out guys so there was some technical problem so i'll just uh, go through like i'll just tell you what products i have used for my eyes so i have used this uh, modern renaissance palette and uh, i have uh, used this shade uh, i've used the crease line for this and then i've mixed these two shades and i've applied color bar brown kajal and i've just smudged it out and i've applied it on my waterline as well and yeah i've curled my eyelashes with this gub eyelash curler which i ordered and then i have applied an essence mascara i have used just a single coat as you can see it's really good so i need to apply a uh, fake eyelashes like so i'll be applying those right now i'm done with my eyes and i've applied just a blush so now my highlighter and all of that is remaining i'll be doing it right now so now moving on to the highlighter i'm going to use this maybelline master chrome highlighter in the shade molten rose gold so i'm going to take a highlighter brush and swirl all that on the pan and i'm going to apply this on my high points of my face oh look at this glow i mean it's so pigmented the highlighter is really pigmented i really like the pigmentation of this highlighter so now i'll be applying it on my t-zone area on my cupid bows and on my chin and the pigmentation of this highlighter is buttery soft like it's good so drugstore highlighter i would recommend this highlighter definitely i like the makeup revolution one also but even this one is really good it's highly highly pigmented and i highly highly recommend this as well So now moving on with the lips, I'm going to use this Huda Beauty in the shade Trendsetter Lip Contour and I'm going to lip and I'm going to line my lips with this pencil. And once I'm done with this, I'm going to use Maybelline Creamy Matte in the shade Touch of Spice lipstick and I'm going to apply this all over my lips and this is a really very nice mauve pinkish shade.
and once I'm done with applying the lips, I'm going to apply this Revlon lip gloss to give that shiny and glossy effect. And I and I'm going to apply this right on the center of my lips. And I would say like this gloss is really good. I mean, it is really very shiny. It is not sticky. I mean, the formula of this gloss is not at all sticky uh, than the rest of the glosses. Uh, so I would definitely recommend this gloss. Now I'm going to set all my base, all my makeup with this Makeup Revolution setting spray. So this is the final look guys. I hope you liked it. So these were the products. I've used all of the products which I had ordered and I got it. So I have... Uh, really liked all of the products by far i have used all of that the, the i mean the foundation uh, the loose powder everything is on top notch and i have really liked it so i would definitely recommend all of these products which i have shown you guys and uh, yeah this is the final look so i hope you like this video so if you like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.